so my favorite song to play is actually To Know That You're Alive. Um, not to let the cat out of the bag, but that's one of the surprise songs we added to the set for this Bring It On tour. And, uh, as a lot of you know, it's uh, an oldie but a goodie, as we would call it in the biz. set so far uh, we're just like five shows in right now on, on this tour I think my favorite song of the set to play honestly is probably tear it up which is what we've been opening with it's just I like very straightforward loud rock and roll and to me that's pretty much what that whole whole song is and there's a, a lot of like really cool drum things happening not like super over the top like crazy chop stuff but just like a couple of really small things that make it really fun and uh kind of specific things for that song that aren't necessarily in our other songs um so yeah i'd have to say tear it up uh honestly i mean i know we've been playing the song forever but i really like playing what faith can do <laughs> Because, you know, it, it's a slower, ballady type song, but I'm pretty competitive, and I almost, in my head, turn it into a contest. Like, can I play this smoother than I played it last night? And that, I don't know, that's just the way I approach, you know, songs that aren't necessarily like, you know, like, knock your hair back, loud rock and roll. Um, but yeah, it keeps it interesting, it's a lot of fun, and, um, yeah. Well, we are so excited to have the Bring It On Tour uh, here in Poughkeepsie, New York tonight. Uh, what an amazing audience and a beautiful facility we're at, uh, in tonight. Um, if you've listened to Christian music at all over the last 15 years, you know these guys' music. You sing it on your car and in your church. And we are so thrilled to have them here in Poughkeepsie tonight. So please, will you welcome to the stage, song to play is actually to know that you're alive um, not to let the cat out of the bag but that's one of the surprise songs we added to the set for this bring it on tour and uh, as a lot of you know it's uh, an oldie but a goodie as we would call it in the biz um, I love playing to know that you're alive it's in drop C so that's like a whole step lower than standard um, it's a whole step lower than songs like um, What Faith Can Do and stuff like that. So it's got this like really low, bottom end, punchy kind of guitar drive to it. And I'm playing a, uh, a brand new Kiesel DC600 model guitar from Kiesel Guitars. Um, it's flat black. It's mean looking, man. It's got these awesome lithium humbucker pickups in it, which are really um, articulate and they have uh, a really hot uh, coil wind on them, so like the, the output of the pickups is really loud, but they're really articulate and punchy, um, and uh, it looks really cool too. Like I said, it's flat black, but it also has on the, the inlay dots on the fretboard are lumen light, which is a material that glows after it's been charged up by light. So you shine a light on it for like 30 minutes or whatever, and the dots on my fretboard really bright so when we come out to a dark stage in that transition I just think it looks really cool and um, you know playing that song reminds me of back in time like recording that song and, and uh, being over in London at Abbey Road Studios with the London Symphony Orchestra as they played the string parts for that song and uh, we wrote a musical intro for that back in uh, 2007 I think when we were writing that been a long time <laughs> but uh the intro itself is called sleeping city which we uh we 
start that intro off stage and then come out and play to know that you're live. But it's just really cool how that musical uh, transition sets up to know that you're live. And then right off the bat, I'm playing an octave form of the root notes, half steps and then whole steps and half steps again. So it's like it kind of creates this tension and um, playing with like a dotted eighth note and a quarter note delay combined. So uh, it's just, it's cool. I like the parts that I play and then we get to, you know, the slamming just big chorus and trash can ending that's a lot of fun and the other cool thing about playing to know that you're live is you see a handful of fans a dozen or so fans every night who like you see their expression change they're like yes I can't believe they're playing this song I'm so stoked yes so uh, I like making those people happy 